Still ahead tonight on Time Warner Cable 8 News at 10, you may have seen some paintings popping up around Fredonia. Well, we'll explain after the break. Be right back. Students in the New York State Summer School of the Arts have mounted the largest community exhibition in the school's history at 10 different sites across Fredonia. The program is funded by the state and other donors, which is crucial to faculty members in wake of art program funding. In tonight's Creative Connections, Cable Aid's Katie Cummings tells us more about the school. Art pieces are on display around the village of Fredonia till tomorrow as a preview of more to come from the Nyssa School of Visual Arts. And that's just a sneak peek at uh, what our students really have to offer. If you really want to see what they're capable of, come down to our final exhibition on the 29th right on the campus of SUNY Fredonia at uh, the Rockefeller Art Center and the Meditorium, 1 p.m. It's the culmination of a month-long summer art school sponsored by the New York State Education Department. It's been held at SUNY Fredonia for the past four years and brings students from across New York. They come from all over New York State. It's a very competitive process. Um, they have to apply uh, with a portfolio, which is, which is juried, and they've been selected. So it's an honor for them to be here, uh, but it's also a privilege for us to be able to teach them. Monday through Friday, the students have studio courses, two a day, two and a half hours. There's an AM studio and a PM studio, so it's very intense. Uh, in the afternoon, or in the evening even, there's artist lectures, faculty lectures, art history lectures, portfolio development workshops, and open studio. So these students are busy all day, every day, for the month of July. The students range in age from 14 to 18. The program is a good way to explore the arts, whether they have an interest in the career or not. They're very passionate about what they do, though. And uh, many of them do go on to art school or you know, work in entertainment industries or become patrons of the arts. One of the reasons I came here was because I wanted to know if art was something that I would really want to do as a career. And I'm still not totally sure yet, but it helps. I think it's a lot of fun. Another benefit of the program is the effect it has on the local community. The students are utilizing the campus facilities while the main student body is on break and they're also visiting local businesses. Oh, the village has been very generous to us. They're very welcoming and accepting. Uh, just yesterday when we were installing our artwork, um, some ladies from the Upper Crest came out with a box of cookies that you guys look like you're working hard. So they're very happy to have us here and, and every year we feel like we're coming home. I mean, even though you don't have a whole lot of free time, you, you still do have some free time to go to the town or just go hang out at Starbucks on campus, and it's great. Artwork is on display at the White Inn, Fredonia Hardware, and the Opera House, among others. Once again, the final exhibition will be July 29th at 1 p.m. at the SUNY Fredonia campus. With your Creative Connections, I'm Katie Cummings.